Do you ever wonder what it's like breathing underwater and coming face to face with amazing marine life? Oh my god, I can't believe it! Sounds fun! I recently took an intro scuba diving course, and I have to say that it truly opened up a whole new world to me. But at the same time, it was also intimidating and a bit nerve-wracking at first. So in this video, I want to show you the entire experience of me taking an intro diving course and share some tips on how to feel more prepared and confident before diving right in. If you are not a strong swimmer but have been wanting to take your underwater adventure to the next level, you've come to the right place. My channel is all about inspiring and empowering you to travel and go on adventures. So if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and join the community. Without further ado, here's what you can expect from taking an intro dive course step by step. Step 1. Scout out. First and foremost, I highly recommend scouting out the diving spot or the dive shop. During scouting, I ask a bunch of questions, confirm that the course we were taking was a shore dive, not a boat dive, which was such a relief for us. And I eventually signed the form to start. Uh, we asked for any advice or what to prepare, and then she said, just relax. <laughs> That's all you need to just let it, you know, happen. Alrighty. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yes. But as a proactive person, in order to relax, I need to feel prepared. So I took my brand new snorkel fins to the swimming pool to get used to kicking with fins. Good thing is that my resort had a nice lap pool for adults only and it was just a perfect place to get all the practice done for scuba diving. I completed snorkeling 10 laps in the pool and that gave me the confidence that I needed. I tried to, try to breathe through the mouth but I still got a lot of fog. So I must have a breathe through the nose. If you still have concerns about the mask getting fogged up or any other potential emergencies, I can tell you that those concerns will be addressed during the diving course. So let's move on and learn how to safely scuba dive for the first time. So today we are doing the dive. I'm a little nervous, but I think the key is to just relax and let go. So we'll see how it goes. There is a dive shop. and it's located in the beach. Step two, gear up. First, I needed to find a wetsuit and water shoes in my size. We're putting on. First, we gotta put up the shoes and the wetsuit. We ran into a little trouble guessing my size, so here's the reference for you. And I'm US size six, medium, usually. Yeah. You see, it's, uh, it's here a little bit thick, you know, but yeah. I mean, the water comes in. It is more, yeah, but it is more for protection for your shoulder than for the cold. Mm -hmm. But I can give you a three. I ended up getting size three and it fits better. That's better, right? Yes, that's yeah, tighter. That's better. Step three, learn theory. I learned all the essential knowledge about scuba diving. You know where that stays? Oh, scuba. No. So it's submersible. Um, Underwater breathing apparatus. Uh, right. Self-contained self uh, okay. self breathing apparatus. apparatus. Designed by Jacques Cousteau. Wow. Oh. Yeah, cool. Huh? This is the equipment. We have a tank. We have an air supply system mm -hmm. with the two regulators. We call it regulators. So three, three, and two. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's uh, and that is what you keeps you down. Yeah, we learned the basics of um, the importance of equalizing because we're going to get a lot of pressure um, and the importance of breathing in and out, how to communicate underwater, like this is if we have a problem. Or maybe you, you, you are doing a skill, you want to do a skill but I don't want you to do because mm -hmm. I didn't finish the demonstration so I'll stop. Mm -hmm. Or you want to do the skill together, I would stop. stop, stop. 
skill. I don't want to do any skill. You're going to do skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to basic. I just want to basic and basic. That I'm going to do the most basic skills you can imagine. Most that's the last you need to know to make a safe dive because you need to keep it safe. Yes. I know there are dive schools who say, okay, you want to dive? Do this. Let's go. They grab you on the tank and they drop you on the water. Well, that's not how I wanted to end up. So I realized I need to learn these essential skills. Step four, practice. After all that has been said, it's finally time to put the knowledge into practice. The equipment was quite heavy because of the added weight, so I had to get used to that a little bit. Once we arrived at the shore, we prepared to submerge. Wearing the mask was the last thing to do, because we put the anti-fog spray on the masks and needed to rinse them right before wearing them. In the shallow water, we practiced all the essential skills that we just learned, while keeping our knees on the ground and holding each other. Here are some of the skills we practiced. By the way, I'm sharing this just to give you an idea of what to expect. Don't take this as a how-to instruction. Please learn and practice with a professional. Here, I am practicing the most important skill of how to take water out of your regulator. I didn't run into this issue while diving, but it's a must-know in case of an emergency. I struggled just a bit with putting the regulator back on quickly and blasting air, so the instructor wanted me to try it again. This time, I squeezed the mouthpiece, so I was able to put it back on quickly and that gave me a moment to reset and blast air on my own without pushing the button of the equipment which is an alternative way to blast air, but you shouldn't rely on that. The next skill we practiced was how to find the regulator and put it back on in case it fell out. To do this skill, we needed to tilt our body a little bit, which was definitely challenging to do in shallow water because there were a lot of waves coming in and out and standing still on the knees wasn't easy. But again, it is one of the most essential skills and I'm so glad we got to practice that. Finally, we practiced the skill that I wanted to learn most, how to clear a mask when it gets fogged up. Now that I completed all the essential skills, I felt pretty much ready. So I swam away from the shore. And before I knew it, I was slowly but surely submerging deeper into the water. With a little bit of help, of course. As I was told, the underwater world was indeed so serene and dreamy. The way the corals were waving was so elegant. I saw some of the most interesting looking fish in my life. I asked myself, what if impressionists were able to scuba dive? They would have been so fascinated by the beauty of this world and we would have great paintings of it in the museums. As I was getting lower to the ocean floor, I made sure to keep equalizing by using the simple skills I learned earlier to avoid pain in my ears and headaches. I also frequently practiced the skills of clearing my mask while communicating with the instructor. It was also fun to see other fellow scuba divers passing by. Underwater, we were like slowest creatures releasing obnoxious amount of air bubbles. Finally, we reached a cliff. Since it gets much deeper from that point, we only got to take a peek at the bottom from the edge and call it a day for the first ever scuba diving experience. And 
here's the last tip for the first time scuba divers. Go slow, as slow as you can. I didn't realize, but my instructor said I was going too fast, so he had to constantly grab me to make sure that I didn't get separated from the group. On our way back, I couldn't help but notice these corals. Turns out, they were planted by people for preservation efforts. I understood that it's important to preserve the ocean and its ecosystem before, but I never felt in my heart how important that mission was until then. And I will never forget that. As you can tell, I was overwhelmed by joy, excitement, and awe. It was definitely one of the best adventures I took, and I can't wait for you to try it out for yourself. If you like this video, don't forget to like the video. I'll see you in my next adventure.